Hello again, it's me, Dr. Jerry Tan. We know that um, as doctors, we always recommend our patients to always be careful with regard to intake of red meat. We know that research shows that increased intake of red meat has been associated with higher risk of developing heart disease, chronic conditions like diabetes, including risk of malignancy and kidney diseases. But we all know that Red meat is not really bad at all because remember, it's a very good source of protein, okay, which is an essential component of one's diet. So the question we always have is, when is red meat really bad? And if so, how do we recommend red meat intake to most patients so as not to harm one's health? If you need information, let's watch this. So the short answer to the question, is red meat unhealthy or not? For those with health problems or are watching one's weight, is really enjoy red meat, but make sure you eat the healthy cuts of meat, specifically the lean cuts of meat. So lean cuts of beef, for example, are beef cuts with the least fat content. We know that there's really a compromise here since as beef lovers, we know that the best cuts of beef meat are those with the higher fat content, those with good marbling. But we have to keep in mind that the lean cuts of beef are not just healthier, but can also be flavorful as well and eat it with less guilt. So nutrition-wise, this is the kind of meat that has low fat content equivalent to that of a skinless chicken breast or thigh. So for every 3.5 ounces or 100 grams of lean beef, it only contains less than 10 grams of fat, less than 4.5 grams of saturated fat, and less than 95 milligrams of cholesterol. So the question is, what are these healthier cuts of beef or meat that we can order in restaurants? Okay, here are some tips. Number one, Chuck or shoulder. From the chuck portion, you get shoulder or arm roast or steaks. Lean beef cuts from the chuck also include shoulder steaks or medallions, which are small round steaks. Second, first half of the brisket or lower chest. These are the areas that are ideal for lean cuts. Third would be shank or the front leg cross cuts. These are lean beef cuts obtained from the front leg. However, the most popular lean cuts of beef and maybe be among my favorites in terms of beef steak would be the short loin or the back portion where tenderloin steak comes from that is used in dishes like filet mignon or top loin or strip steak or the T-bone steak. Another lean cut is the flank portion of the abdomen that lies behind the belly. This can be used as a flank steak to make beef stir fry. Now, the leanest cuts of beef, however, are the sirloin or the lower back. These sirloin steak cuts are not only juicy, but they're also flavorful portions that work well with stir fries. So in general, therefore, not all red meats are created equal. The lean cuts of meat can be as healthy as chicken or flavorful as well. So studies show that lean beef has the lowest levels of saturated fat. And if you consume it with low-fat diet, it can actually reduce cholesterol levels in your body. Therefore, not all red meats can be bad for the heart. Research also have shown that lean cuts of beef prevent the release of bad blood-related factors associated with heart problems. Furthermore, lean cuts of beef can provide us with further benefits. It's a very good source of protein for muscle development. It can have omega-3 fatty acids, which help protect your body and mind. Lean beef also has minerals like zinc, 
and iron, which promote healthy growth of your cells and can boost your immunity. It also contains essential vitamins. So adding lean cuts of beef, therefore, to your diet is not all that bad, but rather can have health benefits in spite of it being a red meat. Lastly, here are some tips for choosing lean cuts of beef. When choosing lean cuts of beef, check the labels, okay? Choose cuts with the grades choice or select because the label with prime in it means higher fat content. Lean cuts of beef will have less visible fat or marbling, which makes it easier to choose. When choosing ground beef, on the other hand, up for 90%, to 95% lean beef with the lowest fat percentage. However, remember this, the leanest cuts of beef have very little fat, so they cook quickly and requires a third less cooking time, but they need slightly more cooking oil for grilling or frying. I hope this short video on choosing the right kind of red meat for your health and for your daily intake is helpful and have given you some insights that it's okay to eat red meat on occasions and but try to choose the lean cuts or the healthier portions of your meat or beef. Again, this is Dr. Jerry Tan. Stay safe. See you again soon.